Hello, magandang araw. Welcome to Electrical Circuits 1 and today we're going to discuss about the voltage divider rule. So the voltage divider rule states that the voltage is divided between two or more series resistors in direct proportion to their resistance, meaning we can use the voltage divider rule in series circuit. So let us try to solve the problem number three. And we are asked to solve the voltages across its resistor. We have the following given, as you can see in our image. So, normally, we solve for the total resistance first, uh, 3 kilo ohms plus 10 kilo ohms plus 5 kilo ohms. But the total resistance is equal to 18 kilo ohms. Then, second, we solve for the total current by dividing the total voltage by the resist total resistance. And we will get 0 0.5 milliampere. Then, using Ohm's law, we can get the value of each uh, or the voltages across each resistor. V sub 1 is 1.5 volt, uh, V sub 2 is 5 volts, and V sub 3 is 2.5 volts. While the same problem using BDR, so we will notice that uh, if you want to solve for V sub 1, uh, the total voltage will be multiplied to resistor 1 or R sub 1 divided by the total resistance. So that is 9 volts multiplied by the value of R sub 1 which is 3 kilo ohms divided by the total resistance of 18 kilo ohms and you will get 1.5 volts also. The same thing with V sub 2, you should multiply it the total voltage to R sub 2 and so on. The same thing with V sub 3. The total voltage will be multiplied to R sub 3 divided by the total resistance and you will get 2.5 volts. So the same uh, results you will uh, get when you will use uh, voltage divider rule. So next topic is about current divider rule. Current divider rule has a general form of the current uh, I mean, I sub A is equals to I sub T multiplied by R sub B divided by R sub A plus R sub B. As you can see, the I sub T here is not the total current, but the current entering the network of R sub A and R sub B. So, assuming we have a circuit here and the total current is entering a node here and this current will be divided or the total current will be divided into I sub A or the current flowing in resistor A and I sub B. I sub B is the current flowing in resistor B. So as you can see that I sub T is not the total current but the current entering the network of R A and R B or R sub B. Okay. I sub T is just a label. Okay, so let's have a sample problem here. Assuming we have a total current of 7 amperes entering a node. No? So we are asked to find the I sub 1 and I sub 2 respectively, you know, because I sub 1 is the current flowing in R sub 1 and I sub 2 is the current flowing in R sub 2. Using current divider rule, if you want to get the value of I sub 1, you multiply the total current or I sub T, in this case that is total current, multiply by the opposite resistance, not the R sub 1, but the opposite resistance divided by the total resistance of the network. Then substitute the values, uh, I sub T is 7, multiply by 20 divided by 15 plus 2 and you will get 4 am amperes. On the other hand, I sub 2 is equal to I sub total or I sub T multiplied by R sub 1. So again, the opposite resistor. If you want to get the value of I sub 2, then the value of total current entering the, the network multiplied by the opposite resistance divided by the sum of the resistance in the network. So that will be 7 multiplied by 15 divided by 15 plus 20 and we will get 3 amperes. 
So, in our case, current divider rule, uh, wag nating isipin na laging nagkataon lang na I sub t yung label dito. But actually, depende ito. Nagkataon lang na ganito yung circuit natin. Kaya ang ginamit natin I sub t. But in, in a problem like this, say for example, if we're going to get the current flowing in resistor sub a resistor 5. Say for example, we have the total current here. And this current will enter a node in this node or in this junction. What will happen to the total current will be divided into R sub 2. The, the, the current flowing in uh, R sub 2 is I sub 2 and I sub 4. I sub 4 is the current flowing in resistor 4. So, instead of total current we're going to use, we will use the I sub 4 as I sub T. No? Para yung I sub T, hindi yung total current, but I sub 4 ang gagamitin mo para dun sa E yung network na R sub 5 and R sub 6. So, hindi laging total current. Nagkataon lang kanina na dadalwa lang yung ating resistor, kaya total current yung gagamitin natin. In, in this case, na narito sa right, no? So, hindi total current ng gagamitin natin na multiplier dito, kundi kung ano yung current na papasok sa network na na kinukuha natin. So, that's it. No? So, thank you very much. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. No? Uh, wisdom is power. So, thank you.